let's take a closer look at the incredible story of West Pokot County in Kenya, where dreams are becoming reality and lives are changing for the better. journey of progress is Governor Simon Kachapin, a leader who cares deeply for his people and works tirelessly to make West Pokot a better place. I am serving my second term as a governor, having been elected in the first uh, cohort of governors in 2013, 2017. <laughs> He's been working on his mission for the second term now and his efforts are making a real difference in every corner of the county. Health is at the heart of any thriving community. World Health Organization report says that for a good health system, you must have an institution that is not more than five kilometers apart. We get our medical supplies, that is our commodities from Kemsa and Meds. And for sure they deliver on the right time and from the county drugstore, they also deliver to the peripheries. Tulipata order kutoka county ya West Pokot ya Dawa, worth 42 million. Na leo tumaweza kusupply 40 million worth of drugs. I must mention here that West Pokot is one of the few counties that have, uh, you know, trusted Kemsa and they have performed so well to the extent that as we speak right now, they are the only county that has a zero balance in terms of dates. Uh, we expect that this, product, this uh, oxygen cylinders will bring a lot of changes in management of oxygen in the county. And uh, your Excellency, we are happy that we are able to, this, you are able to receive this uh, consignment from the ministry. And as it comes to you, is a pro, is, it will be the property of the county. <laughs> So the Indian Siva to Nataka, Your Excellency, to scale to Dawa into Kela Corner. That is really our luxury. Health, especially. We have good plans. We have a functional now. Kenyan Medical Training College in Kapenguria. We have a satellite satellite blood bank in, 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 in Kapenguria here. We have now two theaters. All our sub-county hospitals have been upgraded in form of infrastructure, in form of personnel. If you go to our, our referral hospital in Kapenguria here, it is not the way it was 10 years ago. You'll find that Renal unit is working. You can see that the theaters have also been expanded. The delivery area where our mothers deliver is well done. And you can see the whole infrastructure. We also have a big pro, uh, uh, project in Makutano. Uh, Makutano near blood bank. There is a new, uh, new health center that is being constructed. Uh, it is worth 53 million and uh, uh, the, the project is in the uh, governor's manifesto uh, that we really want to decongest Kapenguria Referral Hospital. And the manifesto yangu ni lisema, makutano ni taweka hospital. Mweka ground breaking leo, na ni gora fambili, kwa sababu ya space hapo, iko sawa. Kila kitu iko hapo. Mama, 
kwa sawa na ile iko kachalipa ni health center kubwa This hospital isn't just a building it's a symbol of the county's commitment to its people's well-being So it yet ikifunguliwa itatusaidia sana sababu iko watu natoka mbali na ndanga panguri hata itasaidia sisi ma transport ile tungeende mataniti na jengwa na mimi naona hii nyumba kubwa sana nashukuru mheshimiwa governor kwa hii kasi kenye ningependa tu kuambia governor kwamba tuweze eh, pamoja na MCA waweze kuharakisha ili wamama waweze kujifungua mali hapa uh, the building is already built na imekuwa complete tunataka tu equipments ya uh, uh, in specific rooms as well, so san upande wa maternity our um, skid deliveries now is at 65% of which before devolution it was very low because uh, our people used to uh, give birth at home uh, you you see uh, you can uh, you can also address about uh, infant mortality rate has gone down maternal mortality rate has gone down because of skilled deliveries sisi kama wa mama wa roro tunaroa sana kuangalia hospitali kwa sababu moto tunapitia sana kwa nyumbani ngine akiumia wanaleta hospitali kwa sababu kama nikachelewa watu wengine wangesalia barabarani wengine wangesalia tu njiani lakini sasa tumeshukuru tunasalia hospitali na tunapata idadi ya kutosha if you move around west pokot now you can you can't miss a health facility after every 5 kilometers kike nyoru ja huduma kileti tembaja a dorosta ni mika mika ipo mon kaktek Mel la bie no ngoman no kipi mo mo no kipi mo nyupi mo konje la kau mbetishon ba ye mali mina toka dawa imecha mwaka jana mwaka ile ya 2022 hakuna dawa hata mtu daktari mwenyewe anaenda kununua yake chemistry na auuse kwa hospitali kwa sababu hakuna dawa sahi hospitali iko clear when i came in 2013 we had only five doctors in the whole county when i was living in 2017 I had left 39 doctors. Today we have over 45 doctors in in our county. That is more than 9 times, almost 10 times the number of medical doctors that were here. The educational landscape encompasses early childhood development initiatives where young minds are nurtured for holistic growth. His Excellency uh, Simon Kachapil in his manifesto he promised the, the pokots that, uh, that they are going to be given bursary of 25000 for boarding schools and 11000 for day schools and uh, that one has been realized because this year early this year uh, they received it was dispersed uh, 15000 for boarders and uh, 5000 for day scholars and we are yet uh, to complete our uh, our promise and that is per the manifesto this is one of the county that provides the young people are in school with uh, both in uh, in, uh, in uh, second school in the colleges and other tertiary tertiary institutions like universities that provides county bursary there's no county that gives now more than almost a billion 700 million is not little money we give our youth in second school so that those from vulnerable groups vulnerable families don't drop from school they can be retained in school they finish their uh, their learning those who are doing um, technical courses uh, different types of skills are also empowered We have not seen our teachers sending us so so we are here comfortable reading Mimi ni mkaji wa hapa napiga kura hapa lakini sijawahi pata bursary lakini round hii mimi nimesomeshwa mtoto nimepewa bursary na nashukuru sana kwa sababu hazikubaguliwa having the bursary it has now in, uh, increased the number of students going to school and uh, that one has helped many people they are now seeing the importance of taking children to school because they were fearing that uh, when they take children to school especially in secondary schools uh, it's a lot of money and uh, they sell their animals 
and um, animals is their livelihood. These efforts extend to vocational training centers, empowering young adults with practical skills that contribute not only to personal growth, but also to the development of local industries. We have employed more than 1,600 ECD teachers, paid by the county government. We also provide infrastructure development in the form of classrooms and also teaching and learning materials. On top of that, we provide food for them, like the Uji, which I launched recently, all our ECD centers to ensure that we will retain children in school. Wakaji hapa walikuwa aho kuwa na shule na hapa awali tukua tunatumia kanisa hindi ujukoni walikuwa na wakipika na pale ilikuwa ni darasa. Kwa sisi, kenye nifura kwetu sana ni kwamba kafa na kutuchenge ni udo metodi. If you look at the statistics, West Pokot is no longer very much relying on relief food as earlier. The Department of Agriculture, Irrigation, Livestock and Fisheries play a pivotal role. Its core mandate is to breathe life into the agricultural sector, aligning it with the pillars of food security and value addition. County government is providing seeds, maize seeds, other farmers are getting other types of seeds, like those who are uh, doing onions, those who are doing uh, other food crops. So, tungeomba mwaka hiyo ngine tena mwaka kesho waendelee kutu, kutusponsor na hii mbegu ili si wakulima tunufaike na tupige hii njaa marufuku ambaye Kenya watu wanalia story ya njaa. Tuko kwa kubariki nyingi kwa kaundi yetu, alakini hili enungoza ni ya kovi. By focusing on agricultural productivity and value addition, the department ensures bountiful harvest that sustain local communities. Because West Pokot uh, predominantly is uh, do livestock farming, you'll find we are doing a lot in, in, in partnership with our partners to do uh, frequent vaccination to reduce diseases for our animals, and we do it up to our borders with Uganda and other other borders uh, that borders with Pokot. Kwa sababu nyasi ibaisha sehemu ya Kenya, ngombe simamia Uganda ya tumekuja kuchanja ngombe. So kwa sahi, tumechanja saidi ya ngombe elu tisaini na bado tunaendelea. Tangwa subuhi tumeanza kasi sa mbili, mbaka sa hizi tumeguna ngombe moja mia sita na wapoto kwa jumla wamependa hii kutritiwa namba hii vaccination yendele na wamejitolea sana wamileta ngungu kwa wingi na tunashukuru sana kama fetenari Ya kwa 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 yeah. Um, Kamaka, uh, Leo Tumekua Ngoria, na Sundet. Hapa ni Lobangang, uh, Komtoni hapa mali ngombe ina, ina kunyo maji. 
na hapa nimeona leo wamedunga ngombe zaidi ya 500 tukiwa tu hapa kama masaa mawili na ngombe zinazidi kuja so madaktari saa hizi wana mop up areas ambaye ngombe zilibaki tunapata ushirikiano mzuri sana na wafukaji wa Uganda wameleta ngombe yao kwa wingi na kazi pato tunaendelea tunatarajia kumaliza hii kazi pengine baada ya siku tatu hivi tutoke hapa uh, Uganda tufike ngambo kwa wodi ya Lale ya Kiwawa ya Swam ya Kapchok ya Kasei tukiendelea hivyo hivyo we are again providing improved breeds for our farmers those who are doing uh, rearing goats rearing uh, uh, cattle those are rearing uh, camel rearing sheep you'll see new breeds the county is also helping farmers sell their animals by building places called sale yards where livestock can be bought and sold ufugaji isiwe ni chanzo ya watu kupigana ama watoto kukosa kusoma ama mambo ya cattle rustling tunataka ufugaji iwe ni chanzo ya kuongeza mapato ya uchumi na ufugaji katika West Pokot na katika hii sehemu yote 99% of West Pokot is peaceful but we have only some boundary along the, the areas along the boundary between Turkana and county and West Pokot between West Pokot and uh, Elgeo Marquet. We have already done, as the county government of West Pokot, peace building and reconciliation conflict management, uh, uh, management bill so that we can be able to have a legal framework on how to handle issues to do with insecurity. We are able to operationalize Lumut, Sigor, Kanyarkwat and Katikomo markets. We are also able to purchase a land for fresh for fresh produce uh, markets at uh, Orolua. Actually, we have uh, a border sheds in all the 20 wards. Currently, West Pokot County is a bustling marketplace where people trade goods and ideas and businesses thrive. Tunakuja kujenga Agricultural Aggregation and Industrial Park hapa Kapenguria. Na tunakubaliana na governor atafute hekari karibu 100. Tutaweka milioni 500 ya kujenga soko ya kisasa. Na tutaongeza mpaka iwe na cold rooms. Circulation of resources is evident. And you can see our markets are more vibrant than before because the kind of money that our contractors are doing within here the kind of supplies they do because of county government the same money circulates within our urban areas Makutano here, Chepar area, Kacheliba and other centers around here the county government is developing an apartment that was started during economic stimulus pro uh, project more than a decade ago that the county government has taken is now in, in its uh, advanced stage for, for opening and so forth. Full operationalization will lead to employment of more than 1,000 pe uh, people and the beneficiaries will be the locals, the livestock. Uh, price uh, the goats, the cows, prices will go up because there are no brokers in between. So we'll be able to promote our farmers to produce more because now the market is there. We'll be able to also get quality products from the abattoir, and another one is a value addition of the pro of, uh, animal products. Mimi nataka tuahikishie kwamba before the end of year this year itakuwa complete. Mimi nataka tukienda Christmas. Tutakuwa tunanunua nyama ambayo imechinjwa hapa na sikuta. 
na hiyo program pale tuko na ekari elfu tatu. Wizara ambaye inahusika na mambo ya livestock. Tayari nimewamurisha wakuja wa fence na waleta matractor walime tuwaze kupanda nyasi kwa sababu tunataka hiyo abatua tutakuwa pale na program ambaye itatusaidia mambo ya feedlot. You can see also other other industries. The cement factory that is coming up. There are small cottage industries, people doing honey processing in this county. And many, many, many small uh, industries taking place. Tunashukuru sana serikali yetu ya county kwa kutusaidia kutuwekea hapa na kutujengea tunakama alipasuri. Kitambo tulikuwa tunakama alifumbi imejaa mara tunafukuzwa tunatolewa. Lakini tangu governor aingie mahali aingie county tumekama hali pazuri hatujawahi fukuswa hapa hatujawahi sumuliwa our urban markets or urban centers has substantially grown we have now two municipalities municipality of Kapenguria and Chapareria Chapareria was created this year owing to this growing population and growing substantially in form of infrastructure and other five centers have grown to towns na hii town nitoka mali kidogo paka kuwa hali ya juu kwa nitakana kuwa municipal na biashara aina ya biashara yote nitakana ipanuke vile inahitajika Beshara inajulikana chaparera sana ni beshara ya kuku na mbusi. Small portion of West Pokot had land ownership. Most of land was trust land, communal land and so forth. But with coming of devolution now, we have ensured that land adjudication, land registration has taken place in the entire county. West Pokot County's commitment to water, energy, environment and natural resources forms the bedrock of its sustainable development. The county develops and upholds water infrastructure to ensure safe and sufficient water supply all within the framework of environmental preservation. One of the problems that faces arid and semi-arid lands is water. But we have now machines that we can draw, we can use little resources to drill water. And we have done so many boreholes with our mega resources. We have, done, we have also done uh, service dams and other dams that has reduced the pressure that we had because of shortage of water. We were able to repair a drilling machine worth over 30 million and you were able to drill over 17 boreholes. And these boreholes have spread all over the county to different wards, especially those wards that need water. Wakaachi ambao waka hapa ni kama wakaachi miatano ambao watafaidika na hili. Maji, juusi tumetoka eneo la upo masol ambao tulewesesha kuchimba maji pohole tano na kwa hii wakati tuko hii wodi ya Kodich tumeanzia mahali hapa na tutasidisha tuko na another two poles kwa hii wodi twende kapchok na swarm drilling of boreholes has been a strategic initiative to enhance water availability in the ball peke yake katika sub location na hii ball singiro na mashule mane na primary mbili alafu secondary mbili na community yote akamgeto hapo ndio wanapata majao yote ingawa hata wanyama sometimes wanatumianga lakini watu wake wengi itabidi wapeleke wanda chote wakunywe mtoni ngurupe chini kona chini yale nyaka mriya mwaka ni teki mna ngrop korona nyaka nyama tama beje te tama kingita janga ta la ka kiyo na ngoka kijeteje central sigor 
those are the lowlands and those are the places that we really drilled boreholes and you've also done some water pans and also we have in our budget some some dams that we're going to construct uh, when you go to the highlands you have a lot of water but then what we are applying there is gravity water where we do piping and connect water to the households we truly want to 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 thank um, water trust fund for helping uh, our people in terms of resource mobilizing and also helping us uh, to identify the projects or rather having drawn proposals to them and they also send the consultative team that help us to exactly get to know which project is important for the people and um, making sure that it comes to pass. We have given West Pokot County uh, close to uh, actually over 200 million uh, Kenya shillings for that but in general in our other programs funded uh, by other partners and the government we have funded this county to the tune of at least 400 uh, million uh, Kenya shillings. There has been drilling of boreholes for clean water, upgrading of systems to use solar power and even tree planting. <laughs> The county is working to fight climate change and its effects. We have been working on this throughout. We are glad that uh, we are having tree nurseries and promoting the 15 billion tree planting uh, directive by the president. And uh, even now we are planting trees into schools and all that. So uh, basically issues to do with forestry and all the forests that, were, that have been devolved and taken care of by the county government has been brought closer to Manage and they now know the need of taking care of the forests. The Department of Public Works, Roads and Transport emerges as the architect of progress, constructing effective infrastructure to amplify accessibility to social amenities and propel economic growth. Magari zote silikuwa simekuwa grounded. Uh, Magreda zote silikuwa simekufa. Na kitu ya kwanza tuliamua kufanya, tuliamusha. So far so good, tuli employ vijana wetu. Mechanics, ya hapa uh, Maktano, na tumeamusha magari 29 hapa hapa. Uh, pili, tumeamusha greda start, tumeamusha excavator moja, tumeamusha backup moja, tumeamusha lorin pili, na tukanunua new greda moja. Kari naito a Ford Everest, me kwa grounded for five years. Through the maintenance and rehabilitation of roads, bridges, and drainage systems, the department navigates a path towards enhanced mobility and opportunity. So we are also assisting our people to have motorable roads by making sure that we grade the roads, we maram the roads, we open new roads to allow our people to access areas that cannot be accessed there before. Katika manifesto ya governor aliahidi ya kwamba eh, baada ya miaka mitano atakuwa mezindua barabara mpia eh, kilomi, takriban kilomita alfu moja. Na yo kilomita alfu moja itakuwa ni barabara ambazo sinaweza kutumika vizuri katika wakati wa kiangazi na pia wakati ambao ni wa mvua. Kwa hivyo kufikia sasa nadhani ni karibu zaidi ya kilomita 100 ambazo zimesinduliwa. Infrastructure development is in especially in form of roads was really not developed. We had for example wards electoral wards that didn't have even roads, even a single road. 
but we have invested heavily to see that our roads are open and you can see now areas people are able to be mobile people are able to move those who are going to markets to sell for their products they are able to have good roads at least improved roads Uganda Iki, iki undika ikiwa hivi itakuwa at least si kama si kama kitambo ingine tai ya tabarabara ni ile sira nyoman kile ba barabara nyo gitumia na ba biji nyo ba wicho rochoro ba nyala ra ke jen kile to gitumia na biomba biki piki serikali ya governor kachatin kwa kutupatia nafasi huu ya ku kupanua barabara tunajua barabara ni ya maendeleo mimi italeta maendeleo mingi ya kuusa vitu kwa masoko na hata watoto wa shule watapata nafasi ya kusafiri kwenda kwa shule tofauti eh, kwa njia rahisi so vile hii barabara sasa imeingia hapa kupanda juu tukoona eh, ya kwamba imeleta afueni kwetu, kwetu kabla hata hajakamilika kutoka kamketo hadi karokao ilikuwa inatuchukua masaa matatu kufikishe kuleta hizo mazao lakini kwa sababu hii barabara sasa imetengenezwa itakuwa tunapitisha hiyo chakula kwa muda wa nusu saa that is 30 minutes nafikisha kamketo ndio tukaanza kutengeneza hii miaka tatu iliyopita na ikatubika sasa kwa kusaidia watu wa eneo hili sasa kwa kufuka watoto wadogo lakini bado shida tu watu walikuwa wanatatemeka sana Tumehangaika sana kwa hii daraja tulikuwa naendea ya mbao mpaka saa hizi. Tumehangaika mpaka saa hii tunasikia daraja imetujengea na mheshimiwa Katapin. So tunafurahi sana. Kutoka Benguria mpaka Kaibosi ni 6 km. Lakini ile nyingine asioi ni 7 km. Kwa hivyo hii barabara ni karibu sana. Ni tuko na watoto wanatoka Kaibosi, Kaprech eh, na hata sehemu za Kiporinya wanaelekea shule ya Tomena. Imekuwa ni ngumu sana hao kupitika hii barabara wakati kama wa mvua ikinyesha lakini kwa saa hii wakati barabara itaenda kukua hatutakuwa na wasiwasi kama wamama kwa sababu ilikuwa imetutia mashaka sana tunajiuliza watoto wetu watasoma upande gani tutaweka maram maram mpaka sasa nipakie ndio maram tunafanya commission huko la baadaye tunaweza kuweka makalabat na tumeweka mpango ya baadaye iwe lami. Ile serikali ya 2017 2022 hawakutujali. Lakini sasa eh, gavana Simon Gachapin na naibu wake pamoja na serikali yake wamekuja sasa kuanzisha mahali waliachia na ndio maana tunasema hii ndio serikali ambayo itatupeleka mbele. West Pokot County's unwavering dedication to its roads transport and public works sector paints a picture of a future united by connectivity and growth. In its commitment to effective governance and streamlined administration, West Pokot County government is embarking on a monumental project, the construction of a new governor's office. Right now we have done county commissioner's office which is 95% complete and uh, anytime soon it is going to be opened that is to replace the one we have being used by the governor right now uh, this uh, complex will house uh, office of the governor office of the deputy governor uh, cc's and uh, county secretaries and other uh, important uh, offices uh, uh, it's uh, planned to, to be uh, of uh, around uh, six floors and currently we are at fourth floor and we expect to complete soon the project is a, has a cost of uh, 198 million uh, 500,000 and um, the project uh, this is phase 1 of, 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 of a bigger project and the phase 1 uh, will go up to that floor 
another office space that is the governor's office complex which we have put 53 million this financial year and it is progressing on well another project we've done this year is uh, we are in the process of completing governor's residence and we have put aside 50 million for that work the work is ongoing and uh, at the end of this financial year we are anticipating completion of governor's residence west pokot county's commitment to youth empowerment shines through various programs fostering leadership innovation and civic engagement we have a youth center in Kapenguria, Makutano Center. We have a youth center in Chaparaja. We have one in, in Alale. And we've equipped those youth centers with computers by a bus that will serve our youths which are active in sports. The bus is, 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 is there. We've already purchased. Our sportsmen are, and, and women are already in use. They are already using that bus. Zamani atukuwa tunacheza mbira ambao ni mbira wa kufana kwa sababu uwanja ilikuwa in bad condition. Lakini kwa sasa tunashukuru a uh, serikali kabisa na tunacheza kwa watoto wetu wamepata pia during break time during PE lessons wa wanacheza vizuri wamepata conducive environment katika wadi ya Kasai. Kuna uwanja mmoja peke yake na uwanja wa kipekee ambaye ni uwanja ya, ya nyumbani hapa Kamketo. Nakumbuka mwezi jana uh, shule za msingi za North Pokot walikuja wote kufanya riadha hapa hata mwaka jana kulikuwa na kitu inaitwa NCL Northern League Champions ambao pia waliweza kukuja uwanja wa shule ya msingi ya Kamketo kufanyia mashindano yao hapa kumaanisha kwamba huu uwanja ni uwanja wa kipekee ambao tunaomba county government i reinforce kabisa kuweka pesa hapa wajenge ikuja stadium ambaye ni msuri sana We've cited a, a place and uh, we are still looking for partners so that we can construct a, a, a bigger stadium. Sports emerge as a unifying force celebrating local talent and strengthening community bonds. <laughs> Nimekuwa na timu yangu hapa ya football uh, wame, ya mpira wamekuwa wakifanya kazi mzuri hapa na sina wasiwasi wowote hiyo kikombe tunaenda kuchukua Mimi kwa timu yangu ya West Pokot ya michezo ya Kandanda ambao wamefika finali na kuchukua uh, kikombe ya finali katika Kikoska Games uh, mimi kama gavana wa West Pokot na furai sana Tulikuwa na four trophies now this year uh, to our seven trophies, which means we are progressing and improving. We meet frequently with our development partners to see how we target women so that they, they, can, they, they, they can also be involved in economic activities, rearing uh, chicken, rearing livestock that are improved. <laughs> Kumi Nasi, <laughs> We spoke now of artists, young people who are not there, those who are going to be musicians, those who are going to be acrobats or any other kind of entertainment industry. At least we spoke, you can say we have targeted that, and I think um, through our department in our county, you'll find that even those people are disabled.
we're able to provide uh, with instruments that help them. Since the new government resumed the office, we have had a number of uh, activities that we have carried out. These include weekly review newsletter. This one summarizes all the key activities happening in the county, in all the ministries. We also do covering of all the county events. Uh, this is targeting the county residents who are within the county and even those one who lives uh, elsewhere in other counties so that they can be able to follow up what's happening in our county. We have also live streaming of all the major activities and this one is mostly targeting the youth with smartphones. Uh, that is through uh, social media. They can, uh, we have our Facebook page which uh, our youth and anybody who is uh, capable of following us through those uh, handles, they can be able to follow live what is happening in the county. We have got also weekly radio talks. Recently, our county was number one to do with the issues of public participation. And because of our accountability, because of our transparency, that is why we are merged uh, number one in uh, public participation issues or budgeting. We do it openly in a transparent way and that's why we are able to come top of all the other counties. Equitable sharing of resources, local and national, fuels the engine of development in counties across the nation. The only thing we would want to request the national government is increase of allocation of resources to county government. Because now it is evident that with the resources that are coming to the county government, there are a lot of developments, a lot of projects have been done, and services have been taken closer to Monaish. As the sun sets on today's achievement, the path to a brighter tomorrow stretches ahead. I know very well that uh, we may not achieve everything within a very short period of time, but as time goes by, we have committed to help our governor achieve his manifesto. I want to say that I've committed myself to see to it that the aspirations of our people have been achieved because that's the promise we gave them. To be able to be get civilized and the standards of living of our people to be improved, to have good water systems, clean water, access to education for their children, access to universal health care, and more so having food security for our people. And that is uh, the commitment me as a governor and my team has committed to do.